All right, in today's lesson here, we're going to look at standard form of a linear equation. So uh, we've been working uh, predominantly in y equals mx plus b form. This is called the slope-intercept form. And the reason they call it slope-intercept form is obviously you have your slope, i.e. your b value, uh, sitting right there, easy to read in the question. You also have your y-intercept or your initial value. So they call it slope-intercept form. We're going to look at an equivalent form called standard form. And in this form here, you'll find that the slope and y-intercept are not immediately prevalent. Like, you can't see them directly in the question right away. You have to do a little bit of work. So we're going to take a look at, okay, if I'm given a linear equation in standard form, how do I transfer that and ex re-express that in slope-intercept form so I can grab that slope and y-intercept from the equation? Let's take a look at some examples. So for our first example here, again, this is in standard form or close, close to standard form. You'll see um, the C value, the constant term, is on the other side of the equation. Um, so if you want to put this in exactly standard form, you would have 2x minus 3y, and you would have that 4 on the other side. Hence, it would be minus 4 equals 0. But at any rate, we're here, and I want to express this in slope-intercept form. So that means I have to get the uh, y by itself. So for me to get the y by itself, the 2x has to go. Also, the negative uh, 3 has to go as well. You always get rid of things not connected to the variable first, so I'm going to have to subtract 2x on both sides. Uh, the reason I so chose subtraction is the sign in front of this, although not written, is positive, so I have to subtract 2x on both sides, giving me uh, minus 3y equals 4 minus 2x. Now, again, I want to get the y by itself, so this negative 3 is in the way, and the operation between the negative 3 and y is multiplication. So I'm going to divide across by minus 3. Notice when I divide across by minus 3, both of these terms have to be divided by minus 3. You cannot just divide one of them. Uh, both have to be divided by minus 3. Now on the left-hand side, as intended, these will cancel off. Just leave me with 1y, or, which is normally just written as y. And I end up getting here, sort of simplifying each of these here. If I take a look at the 4 over negative 3, you typically push the 4 to the, the minus sign to the top. And likewise, if I take a look at uh, negative 2x over negative 3, the 2 minuses become positive, becomes plus uh, 2x over 3. And like we had talked about, we want this in y equals mx plus b. So you have to move these around. When you move these around, you move the sign in front with it. So this is going to be uh, 2x over 3, or you can write the positive if you want. Uh, and then this will be minus 4 thirds. So you can see here, now I'm in slope-intercept form, and I can see the slope of this question is 2 thirds, and the initial value, or y-intercept, is minus 4 thirds. Let's take a look at another. So for this question here, same idea. I'm looking to get the y by itself. This time I'm going to have to add 3x to both sides. This becomes 6y equals 8 plus 3x. Divide across by 6 all the way across. End up getting y equals, and again, when you solve this, this cancels off here. I can put the x's first, so it's going to be 3x over 6. And the sign in front of this 8 over 6 is positive, so it become plus 8 over 6. You should always reduce when you can. And in this case here, uh, 3 over 6 is equivalent to 1 half x plus, and I can divide top and bottom by um, 2, and I get 4 thirds. So you can see here now the equation in slope-intercept form is y equals 1 half x plus 4 thirds. So quickly we can see the slope is a half and the y-intercept is 4 thirds. All right, let's take a look at another example. So in this example here, again, I'm in standard form. I want to put this in y equals mx plus b form. So this time the positive 1 is in the way, the 11x is in the way, and the minus uh, 4 is in the way as well. So in this case here, again, the minus 4 is the last thing we're going to get rid of. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 11x on both sides of the equation. I'm also going to subtract 1 on both sides of the equations. I end up getting minus 11x minus 1. Then you can go ahead and divide across by negative 4. End up getting y by itself. And again, the two minuses here end up becoming positive. So I can re-express uh, this as 11 fourths x. And for the same reason, this becomes plus 1 quarter. And now I'm in, I am in slope-intercept form. I can easily see the slope of this equation is 11 over 4, and the y-intercept of this equation is 1 over 4. Let's take a look at another example. So in this example here, again, we're going to go ahead and isolate for y. So I get 2y equals negative x minus 3. Divide across by 2, you get minus 1 half x minus 3 halves. And we can see here again, you can see how quick this is. And my slope is minus 1 half. My b value is minus 3 halves. 
All right, let's take a look at going from uh, slope intercept form to standard form. Before we do that, I think I just wanted to make note here. Um, in this example, this is in standard form. Um, but what we should do is to put this in slope intercept form, we want to get rid of the fractions first. So if you do get a question where your A, B, or C values have fractions in them, typically they don't because the A, Bs, and Cs are expressed as integer value. If they are expressed as fractions, you can cancel those fractions. So that would be your first step here. So if I gave you something like this and wanted you to put it in slope intercept form, multiply across by 4 uh, to get rid of those fractions. This is going to be 4 times 1 half x plus 4 times 3 quarter y equals 4 times 5. You can see here the 4 over 2 is 2. 4 is cancel. I end up getting here 2x plus 3y equals 20, in which case they get 3y equals 20 minus 2x. Divide across by 3, I get y equals 20 over 3 minus 2x over 3. And then we should rewrite this as mx plus b, so you get two third, minus 2 thirds x plus 20 over 3. And just the same. So the point being here is if you do get a question where the a, b, or c values are fractions, you don't have to work with those fractions like we t typically do. You can kill the fractions, multiply across, and then you're sort of back to the previous questions, right? We have integer values for a, b, and c values, and you can just uh, continue to put this in slope-intercept form. All right, now uh, let's take a look at going from slope-intercept form to standard form. So now in these questions here, I am in slope-intercept form. Now one thing to take note of is when you are in standard form, typically what's done is the leading coefficient in front of your x term. You should always make that um, a positive integer. And the b and c values are integers. So you don't want fractions, uh, illustrated by the fact that these a, b, and c's are integers. And even more so, an added condition is that coefficient in front of the x is typically made to be positive. So you want to always make that positive. And we'll go through um, sort of how to do that with these. So for the first question here, I want this to be in standard form. So I'm going to have to bring everything to one side. I can either bring the 3 and the negative 4 to the left, or I can bring this equation to the right. I'm going to go ahead and bring this equation to the right because it is less work. So if I do that, I get 3x minus y minus 4 equals 0. So you can see here, I can rewrite this as 3x minus y minus 4 equals 0, right? And Because if 0 equals uh, this expression, then this expression also equals 0. You can re re-say it, reimagine it uh, this way as well. And now by doing this here, now we are officially in standard form. Leading coefficient is positive, and these other two values are negative 1 and negative 4 integer values. Uh, for the next one here, if you take a look at this one here, first thing you want to do is multiply across by 4 and get rid of those fractions. This becomes 4y equals x minus 12. Bring everything to one side, I get x minus 4y minus 12. And then now we are in standard form. All right, let's take a look at another. This is in slope-intercept inter form. I'm going to multiply across by 12 this time. I get 12y equals uh, 12 times negative 1 third x plus 12 times 5 over 4. And this reduces to become uh, 12y equals negative 4x. And then here we end up getting here 12 over 4 is 3. And end up getting here plus 15. And in this case here, I'm going to choose to, because I want my, um, well, if, let's say, we'll keep the same process here. I'll move the 12 wide to the left-hand side because it is less to do. If I do do that, you'll see here I'm almost done. I just have my leading coefficient here as negative. It should be positive. So I'm going to multiply across by minus 1. When you multiply across by minus 1, it's going to distribute to each of these terms, in which case this will be 4x plus 12y minus 15. And now I am in standard form. All right, let's take a look last problem here. So for the very last question here, we're going to go ahead and multiply across by 7, in which case here I get 7y equals 14x plus 1. Bringing the 7y to one side, I get 14x minus 7y plus 1. And now I am in standard form. OK, uh, that concludes today's lesson. Just going from standard form to y uh, slope-intercept form and back and forth. Thank you.